this little device isn't just great for entertainment while taking a bathroom break. It also helps me generate thousands of dollars every month. For most of us, our smartphones are a source of distraction and procrastination. You know how it goes. You plan to spend the next five minutes on Instagram and suddenly two hours have vanished. Today, I'm here to flip the coin and share some features and ideas that will help you unlock your phone's full potential. If you're seeking ways to enhance your daily life, your relationships and even make money using your phone, you have stumbled into the right video. Let's start with one of the most underrated features in our phones, shortcuts. Shortcuts lets your phone do things automatically for you and the possibilities are endless. If I wanted to build a new habit using shortcuts, here's what I would do. Hi myself, if you're hearing this, you're probably on your way to work. Please use this walk to think about all the things you're grateful for in your life. Remember to start every morning with gratitude. My phone automatically detects when I'm leaving for work and plays a voice memo that I recorded. Here's how I did it. Open the shortcuts app, tap the automation icon, create a personal automation, choose the leave condition, set your location. Since you only want this to happen when you leave for work, select the time range accordingly. I chose from 7 to 9 am. And now select add action. Search for voice and scroll down until you find play recording. Change this to a specific recording and choose your voice memo. We are done. You can also use shortcuts to send automated texts. When the condition you've determined is met, one or multiple persons will receive a message from you. You could turn your iPhone into a baby whisperer. Just tell it to listen for baby cries and to start playing a calm playlist once it recognizes one. Honestly, I could sit here and talk about shortcuts for weeks. Please don't do it. But I think it would be better to make a separate video on it and maybe show all the shortcuts I use for myself, but also some creative ideas that other people have come up with. Oh, and by the way, if you are on Android, the app is called Tasker. Tasker. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I used to struggle with keeping my documents organized, but then I stumbled upon this game changer. If you simply open notes, tap the camera icon and choose scan documents, your iPhone becomes a mini scanner. Now I don't need any big folders taking up my space. Every document, receipt and business card gets digitized and is stored in the cloud. Even if I'm on the move, I can pull up any document in a flash. Plus, using keywords, I can find even the oldest files super quickly. If we were ranking this like a tier list, this definitely would be S tier material. This one is simpler than shortcuts. I call it the birthday hack. So here's the deal. I like to show appreciation to everybody I come in contact with. And one simple thing that you can do to show someone how much you appreciate them is to simply remember the birthday and to congratulate them. The only problem is that I'm quite bad with dates. That's a bad memory disease. So I came up with a plan. Every time someone told me the birthday, I put it on my calendar on my phone, told it to remind me at 9 a.m. and to put it on repeat for every year. So theoretically, I could be on vacation on another country, me too for the first and maybe only time in my life, but you can be sure you will receive a birthday text from me. If the person is really close to me and I know I want to give them a present, I also set a reminder two weeks before the event, so I know I will have enough time to get it. Honestly, I don't know why everyone isn't doing this. Do it, I don't want any credit, I only want you to stick with the name. It's the birthday hack. There's one simple yet overlooked habit that can open doors to endless opportunities. Using your phone to learn new skills. You can download a language learning app to practice speaking and reading on the go. I speak three languages. Use services like Audible, which helps you explore a wide array of topics from personal development to financial intelligence. I love to learn while I wait. It could be waiting for a meeting or traveling on a train or plane. I make sure to use my time wisely and instead of being bored, I'm constantly learning new things. Did you know that you can download maps for offline use? This comes in handy when you are in an area with bad internet. I use maps.me. It's a great tool for travel and exploring areas without internet. 
It's so, okay, this one you might have heard a thousand times. Just start a business. You could start something like YouTube. After almost two years of doubting myself, I finally took the courage and decided to start a YouTube channel. This was back in 2018, I believe. And basically all I had was my iPhone 6. Fast forward to today, and I can proudly say that I make a living from YouTube. Never, like really, Never would I have thought that by now I would have 4 million subscribers on my first channel, half a million on my second channel, and that I now would be starting a brand new channel. Wait. The problem I see with most people is that they simply think too much. And I was the same way. I thought I needed that piece of equipment or that to finally start. But the truth is you have all you need to start in your pockets. Just learn to use the features on your phone like the camera app, screen recording. There are editing apps that you can use on your phone like iMovie. There are even podcast apps that make it like really easy for you to start a podcast just with your phone. I know I'm talking way too much. Start today, you will be glad a few years from now that you started today. If you want me to make a video about the steps I would take if I was starting over, I'll gladly do it. And basically that's what I'm doing with this channel, starting over. Did you know that you can actually use your phone as a remote for smart home devices like TVs and other electronics? I had a great experience while on vacation in a hotel. My room had this massive air conditioner running full blast and the remote was nowhere to be found. Fortunately, after freezing for a bit, I was able to use an app on my phone. I simply scrolled through the prints, found the right one for the air conditioner and turned it off using my trusty iPhone. Have you ever heard about digital detox apps? They are like little helpers you can put on your phone. You can keep track of how much time you spend on your phone, set limits for yourself and get friendly reminders to step back and relax. You can even block apps that distract you. It's all about finding a balance between tech time and downtime. While your phone is indeed a powerful tool with many capabilities, taking a break from it from time to time can be truly beneficial. This is the setup I use for my first channel. I decided to do my outro here. So thank you very much for watching this video until the end. This is a new channel, so I'm still trying to figure out some things, what style and what audience I'm going for. I know it takes some time for a channel to start getting attention, to start getting traction. So I will be trying out some things and see what works for me. This is also a great chance for me to improve my English speaking skills and I hope you can understand everything I say. If not, let me know in the comments. I really like getting feedback. And if you're seeing this after this channel has blown up, yeah, this is where it all started. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.